No, I've been waiting a while for this. Not necessarily for you guys, but for the season to start. So finally we're through camp and it's time to time to have some fun. No matter no matter how long you play in the league, does the excitement ever change on opening day? Just getting up to it? Not really. Um, I was even said to some friends last night, I just I just can't wait. It feels like feels like your first game again and and uh, especially this matchup, Toronto Montreal. Uh, opening night of the season in our building. Um, this is it's pretty cool. Do you feel like there's going to be tangible changes with this lineup going forward uh, tomorrow, or is it because of so many core players are back that it should be very much the same? Uh, I don't I don't know if I understand ten like from this lineup going forward or f or from how we played last season. Yeah. Well, we've we've added t I think almost ten new guys, so uh, I would expect us to play. A little differently, and those guys all to to add a little something, and and um, we've made some changes to to certain areas of how we play. So I think everyone's feeling pretty comfortable with that. We've we've put in a lot of time and, and a lot of work, and we've had a really really good competitive training camp. So um, we're we're excited. It seems like the team's a little smaller, maybe faster. Do you see the the league going that way? I think it's been trending that way for a couple of years now. Um, Younger and faster, and and I guess it'll, that's the the way teams want to fill up those kind of third and, and fourth line spots. When when I came into the league ten years ago, those were made up of all veteran players who had been through uh, thirty-five year old guys who who had been through a lot. And now it seems like uh, it's kind of going the opposite way a little bit of, of um, let, giving young guys a chance, and, and if they earn the job. Um, it's theirs to take, and there's guys that came in here that probably weren't penciled in as, as opening day guys that have, that have made the team. What do you think of Brandon Cozen? I think he's been one of those guys. He's been very impressive the whole camp. Uh, I didn't know, to be honest, anything about him coming into camp, but from the first day I saw him play, he, he made an impression on me and obviously uh, the coaching staff and management, so uh, it's, a good, it's a good story. It's a guy that uh, came in and... and, and made it impossible for them to, to send him down. So um, now it's, I mean, making making the NHL is difficult, but staying in the NHL is even more difficult. So I think uh, the challenge just begins for him. Joffrey, is there an emphasis on neutral zone play, forcing rushing teams to dump in that puck and, and really not get as much speed as perhaps they might have last year? Yeah, we're going to be, I think, safe to say a little more aggressive in the neutral zone to not give up that, uh, not give up that red line. Um, Last year, it felt like a lot of times we were letting teams dump the puck in our zone, and, and we weren't able to break out as cleanly as possible. So now we're uh, we're going to try and contest the red line a little bit more, which is not really a big secret. I think a lot of teams are, are going that same way. So uh, we just want to put pressure on people all over the ice, and hopefully, with our speed, that can lead to turnovers and some some mistakes from them.